stop it from overheating. There, everything's fixed. We're ready. Let's fire it up and see. First Lady Mark II was built around a particle lift system just like all the buildings in the city. I read all about it in the Columbian Scientific. The particles seated at the top of the structure must be up that lift. Perfect. Like a lot of technology just to float an airship. Comstock never heard of hydrogen. The First Lady Mark I did run on hydrogen and it was destroyed by a single bullet from a Vox sniper. Unfortunately, the Prophet wasn't on board at the time. If I take the active particle, then the First Lady is just a 40-ton paperweight. Best to take the spare. Here we go. Now let's head back through that tear. Honestly expect Atlas to honor his side of the deal. No, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. How do you plan on handling Atlas? He ain't just some spliced up maniac. He'll make a mistake. I just have to be ready to take advantage of it when it happens. All for a girl you barely know. How well did you know me when you came to Columbia? Nothing but trouble that way. Best to head straight back to Rapture. Pretty lady not finished yet. What? Open the tear. Power for device, very expensive. Need for that? Just tell me what you want. So Jung wanted something as simple. Lock of hair. Oh, you're not serious. Not your hair, stupid. Think Hajj's secret life. Mothballed, forgotten. In there, hair sample. In jar. Cannot miss it. You get for Sutra. Then, everybody friends. Where's his lab? Closed off, past Fink's quarters. Um, you smart lady, you find. Should have seen that one coming. You must have arrived right in the middle of the siege. That means the other you and I are probably inside the factory. On our way up to the First Lady. And what happens if we run into ourselves? We won't. How do you know that? Because we didn't. Done me good service, but I will not hurt the boy. 
I will see Fink and Comstock burn, but I will not hold the son to account for the deeds of his father. You've misunderstood us. We neither asked you to harm the child. Nor did we promise that yours would be the hand that would set Comstock's world afire. A famous man once said... And a famous man shall say... I may reach the mountaintop. But I fear I shall never visit the valley below. But you mean I won't live to see the... No. It's up to you what matters more. Your part in the play? Or the play itself. Someone is coming. She'll arrive a girl. She must leave a woman. And what makes the difference between a girl and a woman? Blood. Your part in the play? Or the play itself. Turn her into a killer? How? Give the girl no choice. And she will be forced to make one. people need. But sometimes I feel all I have to offer them
willing to pay so that others may live free from the yoke. The wit knew the price and paid it willingly. And I sense what the Lutez twins will one day ask of me. So far, their council has served me well. Served the revolution well. If a bullet takes me, so be it. But to offer myself up as a lamb? When I come to my Garden of Gethsemane, will I play my role willingly? Or will I burn the place down to the roots? Quarters got reassigned, all right. I'm sleeping in Fink's bed tonight. <laughs> I ain't no private dick. Someone else can find me.
There's a war coming. You can smell it in the air. Fear. Hatred. People dying every day. But how many more will suffer if we rise up? Violence begets violence. I know this. I've seen this. The rational mind argues for a peaceful solution to find a common ground, but what common ground is there to find for a father who watches his child bleed out in the street? How do you deny him his vengeance? I know that fire that burns deep inside. I know it all too well. And when the time comes, will I be able to stay to hand? Looks like the mechanism unlocks certain activities when Fink gives his blessing. So what? We're stuck waiting for the cuckoo to go off? No, there's a... there's a slot for some kind of key for manual winding. We just gotta find that. Sure seems like a lot of work to lock down a few doors. You know, if there's one thing Fink loves, it's a lot of work. state of being, or lack thereof, has left my brother unfulfilled. The biological urge to leave one's mark is strong, and it is not an impossibility. We could even- We've got the clock key. A current state of being, or lack thereof, has left my brother unfulfilled. The biological urge to leave one's mark is strong, and it is not an impossibility. We could instantiate ourselves back in Colombia, return to an old life for the possibility of creating new. But we died in that world. Returning would mean giving up part of us, ourselves. We'd become flesh and all that it is heir to. The mysteries of the universe would become once again mysteries. Fuel for his plasmids? 
if there is a god, and I've seen more evidence to the contrary than in support, you'd think he'd have put Adam into the belly of a nice little seagull or crow. The cost of all these underwater expeditions are murdering my margins. As to the matter of religion, let me place myself in the camp of the agnostic. I pretend to understand the mysteries of the infinite no more than you, Comstock, or anyone else for that matter. But for the sake of argument, let's say this is all one unhappy accident, and we all alone in our toils. Then who would Comstock use to control and shame us with rules that apply only to those with not a penny in their pocket? If there were no God, you could rest assured the first deed done by the first rich man would be inventing him. Idiot, his lock of hair. Listen, I got you your job. I'm here for my answer. But my book of DeWitt died for the Fox Popular. You either an imposter or a ghost. My book of the wit was a hero to the cause, a story to tell your children. humor me then? Please. I think Booker would miss you.
Jesus, it's ripe in here. Say, somebody, uh, fetch me a millionaire to clean this mess up. Comstock promises there's nothing to be worried about, but I don't like the smell of things down in Finkton. Not one bit. If trouble rears its ugly head in the form of one cantankerous negress, I've laid in some supplies in the event of a forced evacuation. They're down in what I call my chamber of panic, near the base of my statue. I've set the code to 8371. Thank you. 
Two you. oppressors! Don't think you can hide from me! I'm done. Now, I know there's been some concern about the nature of the work we do here at Fink Manufacturing. Why, some say they're uncomfortable with the purported harm and suffering our research brings. But friends, let me pose a simple question. Is there anything you would not do to guarantee the health and safety of your loved ones? My interest is the future health of your children. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. <sighs> Hair sample in a haystack. Somalia, you're afeard of me. Something's going on. Somebody hide. I'll find her. Who done this? Someone about? You can't hide forever! What? You gonna answer for this girl? Someone else can find her.
can hide. <laughs> Daisy sacrificed herself. Set me up to kill her. To, to turn me in... To turn me into what? A killer. Yeah, well, mission accomplished. I'm no martyr. How did you do it, Booker? How did you... Elizabeth. I'm not Booker. And neither am I. Cross-reality collaboration. It all makes a kind of sense. The little sisters and the big daddies. Songbird and me. Constants and variables. a wire mother. If you separate a gorilla from its real mother, it will imprint on almost anything. Even that. Why would Fink care about that? Songbird. <laughs> he wanted him to imprint on me. Well, if I recall, that was a problem he solved. formula for oxytocin. That's the chemical that bonds mothers to children, women to men, and... Songbirds to little girls. Apparently not. Fink dismissed it as an unsuitable vector. These poor 
more things. Fink couldn't get them to imprint, so I left them to die. Imprinting failed. I can't be right. Clearly they formed a connection between Songbird and me. How? Oh. I was so young. I, I always remember him just being there. It must be a prototype or something. Is it a human? Does it matter? Hypnotherapy. On the songbird. How'd that go? About as well as you'd expect. into the tower. I, I, I guess he was in some sort of fight. I waited there thinking, thinking, I, I don't know, that something would happen, but, but he just lay there, moaning. I couldn't just... The line with the thorn in its paw. So much for science. I should have just left him there to die. I should have just... I will never escape it. Exploited, exploiting, me, Comstock, you, Sally. It's like a wheel of blood spinning round and round. Well, this must be the genetic sample Su Chong wanted. He sent you all the way back here for a sample of your own hair. He doesn't know I was once the child that imprinted on Songbird. But to him, all the answers lie in DNA. Men like Su Chong mistake an ounce of empathy for a pound of science. <laughs>
Let somebody else look for him. my arrangement with the Oriental Doctor in a new light. What more could be gained by this continued partnership? What secrets that I could not answer for myself? Su Chong can only offer table scraps, and Jeremiah Fink has richer meat in mind. sky. 